Let me bring your attention to uh, the bullpen we had a few days ago with conservative pastor <laughs> Jesse Lee Peterson. Okay, that, my producers did that and that's hella funny. I wish a Karen would, yes. Jesse Lee Peterson was the ultimate Karen. He is playing the ultimate Karen now. So if you were not tuned into that show, uh, the bullpen segment is obviously typically the debate segment. We literally give the debate guest the topics that we are going to talk about. Why? Because I want you to be able to know what we're talking about, research it, have an informed opinion about it, and engage in a good faith dialogue, a good faith debate. Well, this individual, Jesse Lee Peterson, decided not to do that. He wanted to come on my show and bash gay people, black people, lesbians. That's what he wanted to do. He did not want to engage in a good faith debate. So he decided after I kicked him off the show to do a whole show about me kicking him off the show. And I do have a response to this conservative clown. Let me first remind you of some of the things that happened on that show. He is the founder of White History Month. And when I brought this up, notice my face because I almost lost my composure laughing, not with him, but laughing at him. Here it is. Sir, you all have a celebration coming up next month. Um, are you not the founder of um, White History Month, I think, which starts in July? Yeah, we're gonna be celebrating our fourth year of White History Month mm-hmm. in July. <laughs> and, the, and the reason that we started it in July is because if you notice, July just feels white. Yeah. You know, it's, it's summertime, vacation time, relaxing uh-huh. time, reflecting time, and appreciating the yeah. greatest country on this side of heaven. Gotcha. And uh, so we are recognizing that and showing our appreciation for it. I think I think it's important for people to know um, you're not a comedian. <laughs> yeah, he's not a comedian. He was serious about White History Month and the celebration of it. Now he bashed Juneteenth and he has the typical Sean Hannity talking points about other things, but he goes even more extreme. Now remember, I literally make sure he has or any debate guest they have what we're talking about, they have the topics. My production team, greatest on the planet. They make sure that their people receive all of the topics that we will discuss. It's very fair and it's very transparent. I asked him about the policy discussion that we were supposed to have in reference to the George Floyd Police Again Accountability Act. Well, here's his response. What? in the policy of the George Floyd Policing Act do you disagree with? The whole idea, what Which really is part of the policy, Jesse? Blaming the cops and no responsibility Jesse, for I'm the I'm asking blacks. you, what part of the policy is written? You can find it at congress.gov. What part of the policy, sir, do you disagree with? This is a simple question. I disagree with the whole idea of a you policy. You haven't read the policy. I, you haven't even read the damn policy. Come I on, I don't Jesse. need to read it. I don't need to read you it don't to know need the to truth read it. because what I've noticed is that black people today, due to their lack of love, their lack of believing in God, mm-hmm. they love evil more than they love good, so right? So that's the reason and why so, you don't read. And so the that's fact, the reason why you don't read. Right, because we're written by no good black people. That's what he said. That's the reason why he doesn't read is because policies are written by no good black people, or at least that policy was not worthy of his research. Now remember, we always make sure that the guest receives everything they need in order to engage in an intellectual debate about the topic or the policy. His people are failing him at his workplace. They are failing him. Now, this is what Jesse Lee Peterson said about me. It was on the Young Turk Network, Young Turks Network. And the show was called Indisputable. And I had no idea how the show was going to go. As I do with all things now, I have a wait and see attitude. Most of the time, I don't even, you know, most of the time I may ask my uh, uh, PR guy, well, what do they want to talk about? 
and he'll tell me what they want to talk about. I do no research. I don't write down notes. I have no pre-planned idea of what I'm going to, how I'm going to respond or what I'm going to say, right? That's a damn shame. It's not just a shame that he literally said, and I quote, I do no research. It's a damn shame that he has people following him for information. Ladies and gentlemen, um, he decided to go on and attack Black Lives Matter. Um, he utilized terminology that was offensive uh, and truly did not live up to a serious program. So I did what I had to do, and here's that. What's about, what is it about Black Lives Matter uh, that you disagree with fundamentally? Black Lives Matter was founded by a bunch of fat, black, radical lesbians. Okay. And who All hate right, have God. All right, get this clown off my show. I appreciate who you. Who hate for being God, concerned. who hate Thank the nuclear you, family. Yeah. Listen, for those of you who wanted me to continue to engage that clown on this show, I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. I'm only a human being. So please forgive me, okay? <laughs> All right, um, here's what we'll do for the rest of the show. Um, I will read some comments Man. and and I know some of you will say, oh, Rashad, that was just so rude. And, and yeah, it was, I, I couldn't take any more of that foolishness. He's not going to make a debate in good faith. Even if, even if you oppose whatever I believe on the most extreme policy side, at least you have a policy argument. I can engage in a good faith debate about ideas. But if you want to utilize this platform to bash gay people, to bash black people, to bash communities that are disenfranchised, if that's all you want to do, then no, you won't do that here. So Jesse Lee Peterson, he had his cronies, just as I predicted. Uh, they started tagging me on social media, calling me a beta male. Uh, that's the language they speak over there. And uh, saying that I uh, ran away from Jesse Lee Peterson. So here's what Jesse Lee Peterson told his followers to do if they encountered me. So if you see Dr. Rashad Ritchie walking down the road, ask him, ask him why did he put a tail between his legs and run from Jesse Lee Peterson? He invited me on the show. I didn't invite myself. You would think he would have been ready. Are you ready? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Are you ready? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Be also ready. The man says he does not read. He says he does not research. He's all over the place mentally. If he did not have that damn show, he would be unemployed and homeless. What other skill does he have? Nothing. Now here's my official response to whatever crony he may send my way. Here's my response back to Jesse Lee Peterson. Sit your $5 ass down before I make change. <laughs> 